Hey everybody, it's Shireen Fishmaya in San Francisco, California. Happy full moon in Taurus. A beautiful full moon, exalted moon, um, with lovely support from two of the cosmic heavyweights, Pluto, the god of the underworld, and, and the god of evolutionary psychology, and my tattoo, because I believe very much in evolution. Um, obviously, soul evolution I'm talking about too. And... Saturn, the god of time and karma. So the moon throughout the day is going to be getting support from both of those planets. So you can finally take a deep exhale and ground after a very um, intense weekend because we had a waxing moon in Aries making um, difficult aspects to the planets that are now in positive aspect to the moon. So over the weekend we had... um, the Aries almost full moon fighting with Mars and Pluto in um, Mars and Libra was the opposition to the moon in Aries and then we had the Saturn Pluto and Capricorn also making difficult aspect which we are going to revisit again not quite as intensely this weekend when the moon goes into cancer but that'll be more about an emotional an emotional processing of what was happening starting last Friday so what to expect with this full moon that we're you're, we're all kind of already in it um in fact i that's why i'm making this video so late it's like life's just been so full on intense that it's been hard to slow down with the mer- well the mercury retrograde wants us to do less so it's been hard to perhaps attend to things that normally we just kind of take for granted and do very quickly we may be finding that it's more challenging now and that we have to actually really like redouble our efforts in order to get even like you know mundane tasks finished and accomplished but this full moon this Taurus energy will support that so if you've been feeling like ah, I can't get anything done maybe today's the day where you finally feel like you have that extra grounding and support and also think back to what was happening for you six months ago when it was the um, Taurus new moon this is the culmination of that now So this is a great time for um, really celebrating beauty and doing things for your body. Taurus is all about embodiment and grounding. So things that are grounding, things that actually also the other big theme that's been coming up. um, And this has been happening since Uranus went into Taurus. We've been really looking more at our value system and also the voice. So that's another big theme that could be coming up. Um, And that's a Taurus Scorpio theme, like, do you value yourself enough? And do you know what you value? Often the work of really deep, (laughs) sorry, (laughs) this is very, (laughs) it's usually a very quiet neighborhood, but of course, Mercury retrograde style, as soon as I decide to make a video, it's like all the cars are coming by. So, um, yeah, you might be feeling like, I totally lost my train of thought. Oh my God. Mercury, help. Okay. So we might be feeling like we really need to slow down, get into the body. And I was talking about our value system and focusing on what it is we truly value. So a big part of knowing our own worth, I think, is realizing that it cannot have contingency on anything external. The mistake we make, it doesn't matter how much success, how much fame, how much money, how much prestige you have, it's not going to fill that gap or that hole if you don't already have a deep sense of self-worth, which really comes from lived experience and knowing that you can go to hell and back and that you can be there for other people and that you're authentic. And that is nothing that you can buy. That's nothing contrived. And that's really where we get into this Taurus Scorpio polemic is we start to realize wait, I've got to really get grounded in my own value system and then live from that place. And that might mean showing up when it's really difficult to show up and encountering tremendous obstacles. But the more you go, the Scorpio is like kind of going through the hell part of it, the emotional hell part, the intensity. Once you realize that which doesn't kill you makes you stronger through experience, that self-worth increases because you just know like there's some indomitable divine force in you that will make it through and that nobody can take from you. And I think a lot of our self-esteem and self-worth comes from our ability to help others, really to be there for others. And we can't do that unless we've been through our own 
challenging situations that build that core strength, you know? It's, it doesn't come from everything coming easy to us. We have to sometimes get out of our comfort zones, break out of our comfort zones. And Taurus, in the unconscious level, can be sometimes clinging to our comfort zones. So to move beyond the comfort zones, we need the Scorpio energy to kind of push us into the emotional depths and to allow us to confront our fears, insecurities, and vulnerabilities, especially on an emotional level. So this dynamic is up for us right now at this full moon. So I've been working with my clients through this deep dive 40-day Project 40, which had its rebirth um, right on Halloween. And um, it was the first day of Scorpio. I can't even remember now. Scorpio season baby had its rebirth. And um, we're almost halfway through the journey now. And we've been doing some really deep uncovering around envy and its relationship to judgment and... um, often what we perceive as something that we are without. If you think of all the words that start with D-E, that's a Latin for without, a Latin prefix for without. So it's often perceived lack that can foster envy. So if we feel, you know, I don't have that. I don't know if I would ever be able to um, experience that thing or... What if I'm not good enough? Whatever those scripts are that we have to flip in our mind, um, they can come up during the season. So we've been really working on first untangling judgments because a lot of envy and a lot of our fears and negative emotions and deeper wounds around rejection or not feeling seen or valued come from just hiding behind judgment. It's a really tricky thing, but think about it. Often we judge rather than go turn inward and look at our own shadow. And this is a season. Oh, excuse me. The, the bros. <laughs> um, I am in tech land here. Um, trying to pretend I still live in the 70s version of San Francisco. <laughs> As I walk around listening to Jefferson Starship, pretending I live in another reality, which is kind of what we have to do, I think. Um, I hope you guys all had a really beautiful 1111 portal yesterday in transit of Mercury. Mercury was Kazemi with the sun. So I think the fact that that was preceding this full moon is also very powerful. It means that something was really opened for us. <coughs> and in that mastery level of 1111, <coughs> sorry, God, I don't know. Pollution now in San Francisco. I need some espresso. That whatever was open now, hopefully we're able to really celebrate on this full moon in Taurus. It really is about the celebration of beauty. This is a great night to go have a good, amazing meal. I'm going to meet my friend Gina later for a lovely meal at our favorite restaurant here for Taurus moon because it's always good to go. I always tell my clients, go out to eat when the moon's in Taurus. The food's always extra good, Um, especially a full moon in Taurus with excellent aspects with Saturn and Pluto. This full moon is really having a a lovely... uh, cosmic support so take advantage of it and also give yourself um, deep appreciation for whatever you've built and whatever you've been loyal to over the last six months because whatever seeds you planted on that new moon in Taurus look at how far you've come and how much you've grown and that comes from the Taurus part of showing up and being loyal and really um deepening our commitments you know the thing I love about Taurus energy and Taurus people in my life um, you know one of my best friends and partners in crime Caitlin Foisey is a Taurus and um, they're so deeply loyal and reliable you never have to worry if you can count on them and that is something you cannot underestimate that as a as a quality and a value like to be dependable and loyal in this day and age it's gold so May we all strive to be loyal and to show up no matter what. So I wish you a beautiful full moon in Taurus. And I know I promised a Mercury retrograde deep dive video, which that's coming up next. So stay tuned.